preview of the beer we will be drinking. Oh, it's not even focused. Not even close. There we go. <laughs> cool. Excited? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Behind the scenes with John Holzer. Oh, so what are we drinking next, Natalie? That's a lot of oh. money that we're wasting. Uh, yeah, so probably the Smickler bar beer, Ooh. Berliner style beer brewed with raspberries and coffee. That's a delightfully Whoa, hot that is a lot of things happening. I'm excited about that. That one. is what I expect from a Mickler beer. Ooh, so, so we'll either. This, uh, yeah, I'm. I'm a little worried. Yeah. So I'm debating <laughs> then which of the second chance beers. Whoa. Um, this is the this is the new one that they just. I went down to the can. I, I think, think we're gonna do that one. Raspberries and coffee. Together. Okay. Well, um, if you think of coffee, it, kind of almost like a chocolate flavor, because raspberry and chocolate is a really good combination. Yeah. So those two are going to go very well. Um, That's what they say. Yeah. <laughs> as long as it was, yeah, yeah. it's a dubious flavor. Well, because I literally, when yes, we I made these ones, when we made our, our Mexican coffee stout, we had to tell the the roaster, mm. we're like, we don't want, like, you know how your best cold brew is going to be like blueberries and just like like nothing. We, we literally want. The most bland the most of rosty, coffee. roasty, yeah. like coffee smelling coffee you can possibly Most rosty, yeah. most rasta coffee rasta. you have. Yeah. Give us your rasta. But then when they when they gave it to us, literally the cold brew they brought us was like, I, I like have a newfound respect for coffee roasting and blending and stuff because it was just like, oh, you literally brought us something that smells like peanut butter cups. Oh, it was that's chocolate awesome. peanut butter. Oh, yeah. And so and but it had the body of tea. It was so light, so it was the perfect yeah. thing to add in the beer because it doesn't thicken it. Or, so it was so I was just like, man, you guys are gods at Purdue. Okay, it's not, so uh, nice. So, the one that has yeah, that's the Espresso Republic. Um, um, they so own got, like, Drip Coffee, got, um, which is down in Chino Hills, and they have a. That works. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I like to dip. <laughs> I don't like to spread. So. What am I? Oh, then we have the two growlers. Oh, um, magnificent! Uh, I don't need pictures. They're in the fridge. How good is yellow mustard? So good. Like literally every sandwich I have that doesn't have yellow mustard on it, like it'd probably be better with mustard. <laughs> like, I mean, it's like the most underrated condiment. And, I, and yeah. I love other mustard, but yellow mustard is so much, like people are like, Ugh, yellow mustard. I'm like, no, fuck you. Like yellow mustard is amazing. It's so good. It's so good. Like, yeah, I like Dijon like, grainy mustard yeah. as much as anyone else. Don't eat it delicious. with fucking bologna, but just like don't eat bologna. <laughs> You're like, the problem isn't the mustard. No, though. exactly. <laughs> it's the bologna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, like, yeah, your no, problem is that you have a so far hot dog. Like, yeah, let me, let me see if I can find a bottle of death. It was, uh, sweet a sweet. bottle of death. We, That's we, lovely. We did a four horseman series. So we You've did, bottled oh, death. Sweet. It was, uh, so a pestilence death. Yeah, but, but instead, of, instead of pestilence, we called it death. Because oh. death is bad enough of a name. Right. But pestilence is worse. <laughs> okay, I only really want some plague beers. Those are. And awesome. I actually have famine as well, which is another one. We had war, or conquest, war, famine, and death. Those okay. Are the four horsemen. A slightly larger glass. Um, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta take it easy. This is not, uh, this is like at most 6%. Oh, you know, it's not like a crazy, but we can all just take a little bit. Um, this is really, really good. Like the more, the more this ages, I think it's, it used to be, like I said, fresh fruit, strawberry. Yeah. And now there's basically no hops left at all. So it's worth um, it. Which it was a bread IPA. It's kind of how we build it. Oh, okay. But, um, and it's a little more um, effervescent carbonated than it was because of the bread. It's okay. slowly churning through whatever sugar's left as we as we let it age. In the cold room, it's still going, so it's a pretty fucking awesome culture. So it smells fantastic. Yeah, it used to like you can still pick up a little bit of the fruity part of it, but for the most part it is funky and the smell of death. <laughs> Drink deeply of death. Oh fuck, it smells so good. I see what you mean about strawberries. It's it's less it's not like Overwhelming, but it's there. And it's yeah, there's a, there's a fruity you note, know, and then it, this is mostly uh, like Eldorado hops. They have a strawberry <laughs> yeah. like note to them, and yeah. but there's also some like pine. Most of that, I, I I can barely pick up a lot of hop presence anymore. But what I do get is just a really friendly, delicious like Brett beer that I could just like you could chug it or this you could so sip crushable. it. You know, yeah. Like, I, 